Jain Sports Blog. Hi everyone! Do you remember the sport Quidditch from the Harry Potter books? Well, now you can play it in real life. There's a new Quidditch club at my school and I joined last week. Of course, we can't fly like Harry Potter, so we run around with our broomsticks between our legs. We play on a grass pitch and there are seven players on each team. A seeker, three chasers, two beaters and a keeper. The chasers try to throw the ball through hoops at the end of the pitch to score goals. The beaters try to stop them by throwing balls at them and the keeper guards the hoop. The seeker, that's me, tries to catch the snitch, which is actually a tennis ball inside a long sock. If one of the seekers catches the snitch, then it's the end of the game. It sounds crazy and difficult, but it's great fun and really good exercise. The best thing, though, is that you don't have to be a talented athlete to play Quidditch. It's all about teamwork. Anyway, we're playing tomorrow, so I have to go and practice. Does anyone else play a strange sport like Quidditch? Leave a comment below. Hi, Jane. Quidditch sounds like a lot of fun. I wish there were a team in my area. In Malaysia, we have a really exciting sport called Sepak Takraw. It's similar to volleyball, but you can only use your feet, knees, head and chest. So if you're good at football, you should try it. It's really popular across the whole of Southeast Asia, and here in Malaysia, it's our national sport. Each team has three players, the Tekong, who plays up front, and two inside players called the left insider and the right insider. Just like volleyball, one player serves, but then the Tekong must kick the ball over the net. If the ball touches the ground on the other side of the net, then the team scores a point. You should try it as it's really fast and athletic. Next year, I'm going to join the school Sepak Takrao team. You should set up a team at your school.